Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's check out what's been making news. Girls and women march for justice. This year's Grammy highlights. And sheep hugs? But before we get started, feel free to hit subscribe. Tens of thousands of people have taken part in marches across the country today, calling for better treatment of girls and women. Protesters say they want the government to do more to stop violence and to promote equality. Amal went along to one of the March for Justice events. Thanks, Nat. I'm here in Adelaide where lots of Aussies have come out to take part in today's march. I spoke with some young people to find out why they're here. Can you guys tell me why you're out here marching today? I think that women should have the same respect and the same power as men do. I think it's important for women to be treated equally. It's important because we want to save women's lives and we want women and non-men to feel safe on the streets at night. We want people to be able to dress how they want, behave how they want and not have um, terribly unjust consequences. I want like to be able to feel safe walking alone. I want to live in a world where all genders are equal, you know, no matter if you're non-binary, man or woman. It's so important that we just move together as a generation, otherwise nothing is ever going to get done and no change will happen. The more people that raise awareness, especially if you're of a male gender, the more better our society can be. I feel like women don't get enough respect and men and boys should stand up for them a lot more. I want the politicians to listen to women about what's happening and for them to make changes. It's important that women and girls are all free to do what they want and follow their own dreams. This is just one of more than 40 events taking place across Australia today and these people want their voices to be heard. The 63rd Grammy Awards has just wrapped up and of course we saw some big performances. Blue Ivy became the second youngest Grammy winner ever at just nine years old for her role in her mum Beyonce's video, Brown Skin Girl. I never charge you for anybody else singing. Taylor Swift claimed Album of the Year. Record of the Year went to Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish and Beyonce took home awards for Best Rap Song and Best R&B Performance, setting a record for the most wins in Grammy history with an impressive 28 total wins. History, people. History. Give it up for Beyonce. Oh, this is history right now. Hey, watch this. I might not be good at hat tricks, but Sam Kerr, on the other hand, that's a different story. She booted three goals in a win for Chelsea. That and more in sport. Oh, Nat, Nat, Natty, Nat, Nat, Nat. It wasn't just any win. It was the biggest win in Women's League Cup history. The Guru Raiden's made it six. Yep, six nil. That was the score in the final of the Continental Cup between Chelsea and Bristol City. And from the very start, it was the Sam Kerr show. Kerr, tap in, one nil already. She booted two goals in the opening 10 minutes, flipping the game on its head, literally. In the second half, she completed the hat trick and Chelsea took home the cup for the second year in a row. In the AFLW, the mighty have fallen. Collingwood's unbeaten run has finally come to an end, going down in a tight three-point tussle to Brisbane. It's got the carry! Spark with a boomer! Meanwhile, Fremantle beat the Blues, coming from absolutely nowhere in the final quarter. And the Dockers are in front! They booted three goals on the truck to win by four points. What a win for Fremantle! What do pancakes, bonfires and free hugs from animals all have in common? They're all things I haven't experienced in quite a while, but they're also stacks of fun. Stacks. How many pancakes does it take to break a world record? 1,500, apparently. A bunch of chefs in Russia, together with an entourage of volunteers, have made what might just be the world's tallest stack of pancakes. It's all for the Russian festival Maslenitsa, or Pancake Week, marking the start of spring. The final stack measured in at more than three and a half metres high. Something else that happens in Pancake Week in Russia has nothing to do with pancakes. This event's all about burning down giant towers made from stacks of wood, and this year's one was made to symbolise the fight against COVID-19. But before all that happened, this guy took a bath inside and these guys had a sack fight. And finally, welcome to the farm that'll let you book yourself in for a free hug with a sheep. It is in Germany though, so sorry about that. The folks in charge want to encourage people to get closer to animals. 
Oh, they are very friendly sheep. That's all from us today. In the meantime, feel free to hit subscribe because we'll be back again tomorrow. See you then.